Oh yeah, you're getting in this review, homie. You ain't getting around that. Also, this is why you don't let scrubs swing your bats. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Check it out, the monster fulcrum. First cuts with it. We're on the tiny field out here in Webster, so gotta get it up into the trees. It's 270 at the Grass Hill. Let's have some fun. Tonight, we're gonna be swinging the balanced and the inload version. They're both 25 and a half. U triple A 240 stamp, two piece construction, alloy handle. Let's go. Oh, starting off the bats with some 52 300 so we can get these broken in nice and evenly. You guys can check right here. I tested them. Uh, they were just peeled out of the wrapper, but uh, they are new. There you go, ready to hit. And let's see what they do. Of course, I would do that because I'm terrible at tapping the ball. So much for my setup. 91 miles per hour. 95 miles per hour. 95, double net. Thank you, Lord. Okay, switching over to the balance with some 52 300s. 85 miles per hour. 90 miles per hour. The balance bat feels a little faster through the zone. Inload is a little bit, it's not super heavy, but it's a little more pronounced. You can just tell when you're swinging them back to back. 81 miles per hour. Waiting on that ball too long. Man, that still probably went. 95 miles per hour. 90 miles per hour. Woo! 94 miles per hour. Yeah, you feel, you feel the end load there a little bit. Switching it over to 44 375s. I've got uh, Short Porch Ghost Max 44 375s. I've got Short Porch Pro M's. I've got Onyx Energy Pro M's. I have the Short Porch Freedom Ball, which is a 44 400. I also have some Dudley Thunder SX balls that are the balls we use uh, for league night at Big League Dreams. 94 miles per hour. 88 miles per hour. So you can definitely feel it. The crack is a little bit more apparent with those 44s. They fly in. 92 miles per hour. Hey. Woo! 88 miles per hour. 93 miles per hour. 92 miles per hour. Feels good, baby. 93 miles per hour. 93 miles per hour. 89 miles per hour. 
The fulcrum is really good. I like the balance and the end load. The balance does come through the zone a little faster just because of the weighting, I think. But uh, you might get some more pop and power out of the end load. I want to say my numbers are pretty similar with both bats. I might have had some higher exit velo with the end load. Great sweet spot. If you like a stiff handle, if you like that Monster M8 tech, do not hesitate. Snag you one of these. Go to monsterathletics.com or find your local rep. One of our local pros, Steve Whaley, I'll list him as a guy that can help you get one of these fulcrums or anything in the Monster lineup. I'll put them on the tester. You guys will see where they're at now. The results of about 100 cuts on each one of these give you a good idea where they're at. They're plenty broke in to me, feel like they're 100% game ready. So buy with confidence, swing with confidence, get you a good round or two on them, especially if you're doing 52s, get you two rounds and you should be able to jump out and game these. They should settle down, hold compression for a while like this new technology has been doing. If you haven't done it already, scroll down, hit that subscribe button for us. Big two thumbs up guys on the balanced and the inload versions of the brand new Monster Fulcrum. Y'all stay safe. God bless. We'll see you next time on Big Ben BP.